Hey. <laughs> it is Kiana Thompson, owner of Holistic Carmi, Mind, Body, and Soul, a solution focused therapy agency with 100% satisfaction and building quality, passionate relationships. And it is time for your monthly keys. Okay, I'm gonna take that one. They flew out, but this one was turned up, Virgo. Y'all be turned up all the time. <laughs> So it's your turn. You're up. You are earth sign. You are mutable. You are ruled by Mercury. If your birthday is between 823 and 922, these messages may resonate. Or if you have prominent Virgo placements, Moon, Ascendant, Venus, Jupiter could also resonate. Virgos are very analytical. They worry a lot and they really love cleanliness and they don't like rudeness. So don't be rude to a Virgo. All right, Virgos, let's get your space set up. <gasps> set up the space for my Virgos. I love me a Virgo, so. Okay. All right, so what we got cooking? We got uh, moon water, we got love oil, we got a grounding rock, we have rose petal sage for you guys. So we're gonna set up our space. Uh -oh. Our ritual space, get it right and tight, y'all. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Earth signs is winning today. I did all the earth signs um, readings today. That's interesting to me. <laughs> what y'all got going on, earth, earth, earth? What y'all got going on? All right, Virgos. Let's get into this read. See what's popping for you. I'm in towards a reader. What comes up comes out. It just is what it is. Never know what's going to happen. Lots of love going on in these readings for these earth signs. Yes. Come through, Virgo. You could be getting into um, some stability. You could have had lots of heartbreak. Um, but, you know, those cycles are closed and new cycles are opening up. You're going to get more stable inside of your relationships. Could have some reconciliations going on. Could just be reminiscing. It is Mercury retrograde um, about love loss. But you have to remember that you are the creator. What you have prayed for, um, you can manifest. You're going to have some choices coming up too as well. You'll be having to make some major decisions. You're being very guarded, Virgo. But, you know, that's just Virgo with you. <laughs> You're being very guarded, needing to, you know, because I see the broken heart. You see the pain and the sadness. So that's probably why you're being um, guarded and, you know, ready to fight. But it's also like you have had to walk away from a lot of things that wasn't serving you. And so now you just really want to set a stable foundation, like something that you could build on, like, you know, something that can keep growing. <laughs> You want to just be the boss. You want to be um, nurtured and loving and being a leader. We ain't got time to nobody BS you. Like, I ain't got time for no BS. I'm trying to run an empire. I'm trying to um, take care of everybody. Like, if I eat, everybody eat. Lots of transitions happening. Could have possible deaths around you as well. You could be feeling, like, really alone and sad and left out in the cold. You could even be feeling... um. Of some illness but it's bringing you back around to um, more love and more stability more merriment yeah more abundance more creativity more appreciation like you're able to really be appreciative because all the things that you've been through you're surrounded by love. I think you forget that sometimes, Virgo. Like, remember that you are love and you are the magician. Like, you create, you're the manifester. You create um, how you need to create. You could be coming into some money. Somebody wants to offer you some money, give you a, a, a job or something like that. Or investments. You could be taking a trip. You could be moving. 
you, you know, feeling a safety and security is going to be very important to you. Especially as you ride out all these storms. You could be feeling a little insecure. But you're walking right into the door of healing and happiness is open for you. You just have to stop procrastinating and get out your comfort zone. You have to move. Like, let your heart chakra flow. Let the love just, you know, flow through. Because you are going to get the victory. But if you keep holding off, um, you want. And you are going to have financial stability, too. Let's get your cards later. Let's see what's happening. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. gotten this card today attachment My fingers are like really cold, uh, Virgo. I don't know what that's about. You could be needing some vitamin D or um, some type of multivitamin or something. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> but that was for you. I don't know. All right, you got two cards that fell out. Kiana cards on deck, which are available for purchase. And we'll get your Oracle card at the end as well. So Virgo, why are you attached to something? Things that's not serving you. You attached to stinking thinking. You attached to people, places, and things that's not working. It's not working for you. And you know, universe is really asking you to like dig into your strength like you are much more stronger than you know and i know you're like i don't want to be strong no more but virgo you got more in you and so universe is trying to get it out of you so you don't have to be attached to things so that you can lean out to your own understanding a lot of hidden truths are coming out for you as well you find you find it out your inner power you're finding out how strong you are you find it out hidden knowledge yeah you've probably been doing a lot of self-work um, you got this King of Swords here. So, uh, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Um, somebody's helping you. Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Lots of energy around, lots of personalities around you. Um, that's helping you with the self work, that's helping you, um, get to who you truly are, helping you get to your power. Yeah. Could be some soulmate energy, could be some lover's energy, could be a relationship that you're attached to um, that's needed to be cut, severed. And so this King of Swords is sometimes about cutting through the BS, um, an authority figure or someone you hold in high regard could be like, you know, um, helping you to let go of this attachment. You're going to be getting some communi communication coming in, could be a letter, like, a, like snail mail, um, email, something like that. Lots of information coming in. For you, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Very nurturing, very loving energy. Yeah, you could be, you're moving away from some things that's not serving. You get attached to some stuff. You could be moving, but you're moving to a more peaceful place. You're moving to um, 
more more tranquilly you're moving away from the things that's not serving you're moving away from the attachment like whatever it's attachment is you're going to be moving away from it um you're doing a lot of healing you've been doing a lot of healing work a lot of self-work a lot of self-love type of things it's been causing some turmoil though it's been causing like you could be I feel like you could be Virgo. You could be um, having some health issues, or someone around you could be having some serious health issues that you've been, you know, fighting for your health. Ooh, yeah. But you're gonna win. You're gonna be healed. Like it's gonna be good. So whatever you've been doing, I guess, like keep doing it, keep fighting, don't give up, and you're gonna be celebrating. Yeah, you could even have like surgery. You could have something removed. Um. Or they could be somebody could be telling you you need something removed, like a doctor or something. Yeah, lots of lots of sores, lots of lots of sores, lots of cutting energy. But also a lot of circular thinking, a lot of being stuck in your head could be what this attachment is about too. Um, you finding out like that your a loved one needs to have surgery, or you could be needing to have surgery or had it. But it's in a healing space. Like you are the healer of the ages. So you are healing. And um, you just have to like invest some energy, time, patience into your healing process. Keep investing in yourself. Keep taking care of yourself. And all your wishes is going to be fulfilled. It's all going to work out. It probably does feel very scary right now. But it is all going to work out for your person. Or this is for your person or for yourself. Um, it's going to work out. So you don't have to like worry about it. Like that doesn't make anything better, but, um, doing the work, doing the self love, putting in the love for yourself and for your loved one. That's what, that's what makes it work out. You're on the right path to family. Like you could be, you know, really creating generational wealth. You could be getting married. You could already be married with kids or have kids. That's family. How your family looks for you. Um, it's definitely abundance. It's definitely breaking generational curses. It's definitely um, financial stability. Queen of Cups again and Queen of Swords. So um, you could be... Could be love for sure. Yeah, could be uh, also could be siblings. Oh, vibrational match right here. We got the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So yeah, you could be getting married. Like um, lots of water energy here. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, also um, air energy. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But I feel like for some reason, like this, um, the Queen of Swords for like a mediator to me. I feel like a or or or. You could be getting married or like going to the justice of the peace type of marriage type of thing. Like you're just like, oh, I'm just gonna go to the courthouse. <laughs> and I feel like, um, yeah, like you don't want to do the whole wedding party thing, and then you're gonna be moving again. Like you moving, like whatever this movement is, a lot of movement today for Earth signs. Um, I feel like people are gonna be kind of like, like you don't want to deal with the hassle of the, um bridesmaids and stuff like that but i feel like you're going to have close family there for this wedding whatever this is i don't know i see a temple i see um some type of small very small intimate ceremony between you and your person could be a destination too but it's just gonna be a small amount of people it's not gonna be a lot like maybe five or six people it's not gonna be a lot but it's going to be good. Like all your wishes are going to be fulfilled. And um, you're not going to have to worry anymore. Like the worrying is going to be over. You're going to get everything you want. You're going to get everything you deserve. Yeah, your wishes are just being fulfilled, Virgo. Like you straight up and down winning. Like. You're going to be feeling like abundant. You're going to be feeling like you don't have to worry about nothing. You're going to be able to sleep good. No more nightmares. No more, you know, insomnia. It's just going to feel good. Like a fresh, a breath of fresh air. Like, oh, finally.
finally, like finally it's all happening for me. Finally, my money is good. Finally, my body is healed. Finally, uh, my family is healed. My family is good. I'm married I'm, or my marriage is better, whichever, however it go. You're just going to be like winning, winning, winning. You could have been having some financial constraints as well, especially with all these sores and everything like that. But like I said, you're coming into cornucopia. You're coming into fulfillment um, of wishes being fulfilled. So the money is gonna is gonna shift. Some, th some things that you need to see is gonna come out to the to the light, right? You're gonna um, you're gonna figure this thing out. You're gonna be like, it's gonna be illuminated. Your your money is gonna be illuminated, and you're gonna get a promotion. Like soon as you think like is you know. Not, I'm telling you, all your wishes are gonna be fulfilled. Like, as soon as you be like, man, I got this bill. It's too. It's I can't take care of it. You're gonna get the money to take care of it. Like, it's gone. You're gonna win. You're gonna get accolades. You're gonna get the attention, the recognition. You're gonna get the promotion, the raise, all of that. Like, wishes fulfilled. Everything that goes in the dark comes out to light. So, if there's any type of, um, you know, BS around your finances, like. You're going to find it. It's going to come out. Everything that, need, that you need to know, you're going to know. Yeah, you're going to work. You're going to be doing some collaborations and work. It's going to work out. You got people in your corner. Ten of Pentacles again. Yes, you definitely could be getting married. Um, Definitely having more stability in your finances and in your family. Yep, you're being offered something. You're being offered, like, this great love. It could be, like I said, marriage proposal. You're going to be getting, could be getting married. Yep. <laughs> and you're sending out an invitation. Like, I'm telling you, like, this, you're going to be letting people know that you got this offer. Like, you're going to be telling people, like, oh, my God, I got a promotion. Oh, my God, he proposed or she proposed. Well, I don't know if she proposes these days, but you get what I mean. <laughs> I'm proposing <laughs> or I'm getting proposed to. Like, it's going to be you sending out information to people like, oh, my God, like, it's illuminated. Like, you're going to be letting people know what's going on because this is going to be so good. And yeah, like your person is willing to invest in you. Your person is willing to, um, you know, invest in a relationship. Yeah, I definitely see proposal. I feel like this feels like it's God sent. Like this person feels like you are their spiritual partner. And they want to offer you something stable. Yes, stable and um, loving and real like practical like real it's like how you like it virgo you want practicality so it's like twofold it's like practicality and romance but it's so freaking good man like you're gonna be off for something and it's gonna you know you, i think we we'll have windfalls of money you guys gonna be probably working together or something or you even could be getting offered a really great job or career but i feel like it's definitely some type of proposal it's going to be a new beginning in finances. Yep, look at this. The, <laughs> the Knight of Cups kids keep coming out. So I'm telling you, like, this is some type of um, proposal, some type of love offer, romance, something like that. Something really, really good for you, Virgo. You're straight winning. You just have to let go of attachment. Do all the healing that you need to do so that you can get all your wishes fulfilled. <gasps> Yay, Virgo! I'm... Um, Definitely, uh, universe is asking for you a love card. So let's get you a love card, and I'll read your Tiana cards that you got too. Hmm. Yes, I knew it. Engagement at the bottom of the deck. What I tell y'all, y'all are getting engaged, Virgo. Y'all think I don't know? Okay, I know. Engagement, yes. I'm giving it all to you. Count of cards.
So your love cards, you got religious factors. Your love life is, is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. This card to me honestly resonates with the um, Hierophant. And so again, marriage, I'm trying to tell you, I don't know. I don't know what it is where y'all getting married. Um, or your marriage could be being renewed, okay? But it's about divine timing. Right. It's about traditions. It's about, you know, universe bringing you two together in just such a just miraculous way Like you're going to find each other um, or find your way back to each other. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. This is your person. So like if this if you're like in the process of like you don't know if this your person or not, like you're being, you know, skeptical about that thing. This is this is it. This is the real thing. You don't have to be guarded and fighting and things like that, being worried. This is it. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So no matter where you are in the process, whether you're dating, whether you're engaged already, whether you're married already, you're just going to the next level. So whatever that looks like for you, it's going higher. You're raising your frequency inside of your relationship. I knew it. Yay. I'm so happy. Your Kiana cards. Hey friend, every day I find words to inspire me, to keep me going, and to trust the process. I share my experiences with you in this deck that is near and dear to my heart. Each card is an inspiring quote for me. Each picture is a significant snapshot of my life. This deck will help you to remember who you are. It will inspire you to be your best self. It will challenge you to show up even when you're afraid. Most importantly, it will remind you that you are not alone. Meditate on a different card each morning and bring its positive energy into your day. Perfect. I have to let go of anything distracting me from doing my soul work and causing major damage to me physically, mentally, and spiritually. No distractions, Virgo. You got this. All right, Virgo, I hope this resonates with you. I hope you just receive all the goodness that's coming your way. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and share this video and comment and let me know how it resonates with you, okay? Thank you guys so much. I love y'all to life. Peace out.